In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to work with baseline grids. First, I go under View, make sure Show Baseline Grid is enabled. Then I take off my Guides, I take off my Column Guides, and I take off my Show Margins. Up here is my Baseline Grid Manager. I click on it, open it, and say Use Baseline Grid. I can alter the Start Position if needed, go back to zero. I can say relative to the top of spread, top of page, or top of margin. I can alter the grid spacing. We can see right away what happens. The text changes accordingly. I can change the color of my baseline grid. I can also change the transparency of my baseline grid if needed. Down here I have show baseline grids a display threshold. I usually leave it at 10%, but these are the other options I have. And I hit close. Now I take my zoom tool, go a little bit closer, and would like to show you something else. A second option I have is adding on a baseline grid for my text frame. I select my text frame, go up here, and choose text frame option. Enlarge the window according to my needs, and down here I have use baseline grid. The text frame baseline grid is stronger than the document baseline grid. You'll see it in a second. I go in here, Again, I have a start position relative to top of frame and the grid spacing. Now, if I change my grid spacing, you can see the text follows my grid spacing. As soon as I take that off, my document baseline grid is taking over again, which means the text frame baseline grid is stronger than the document baseline grid. Now, if I go up here and say ignore baseline grid, my text can move around freely. 